Chad here with LearnHoloLens.com. And today, I just wanted to take a, just a quick minute and talk about the Unity Hub. So I've mentioned this in the past, but I really think it's, you know, it's a neat little tool. You should definitely grab it. Uh, so let me show it off real quick. So if you use more than one version of Unity at a time, you really want to get uh, this Unity Hub uh, because it will let you easily open up your projects in that particular version. Uh, and if you already have versions on your machine, you come here to installs and say locate a version and browse to it. Uh, but for example, uh, I have the version 2018.1 OB12 and I could set that as my preferred. So when I make a new project, it would automatically set it to this. And if I want to make a new project in general right now, I got 2017.4 OF1 as my preferred. Um, right here you can see that but I can select any of these other ones and set those as com as preferred the other thing I can do is come in here and let's say when I first installed this uh, beta 12 I did not install the example projects but I wanted them one of them now that I could check this box and say done and go ahead and install that or again something down here uh, to build for the iOS or um, Vuforia or something else right so if there's something in particular I want to grab and I didn't I can come back in here and easily um, add that component, which is really nice. The other thing I can do is I can come over here and look at official releases. And I can see if there's any new releases. I already have the latest one here, but I can go to beta releases and I see, hey, there actually is a 2018-1 beta 13. So I'm going to hit download on this. And then from here, what do I want to install? Uh, well, I don't really care. I can get the documentation online. I don't need the example projects. I already have the standard assets, don't need those. And I will grab the .NET scripting back in and WebGL support. And for this version, that's probably all I'll grab. So I hit done. And now we can see it's going to go ahead and download that version of 2018. And now it's going to be in my list. All right, so just download it. Now it's going to install. Just as easy as that. It's now installed. Again, I can come in here and add a component if there's something I forgot. I can come back over to my machine now, and now I have both uh, 13 and 12. Since I have 13, I can go ahead and uninstall 12 because I really don't need him anymore. And it starts uninstalling. So I can manage all of my Unity installations right here uh, through the Unity Hub. Uh, likewise, I can actually go to my projects. And over here, I have a list of some of the projects I've been working on, and I could actually you know, select one of them and say, even though I've been opening the last time I opened it, it was in 2017.303, well, I could actually come and open in the latest version of 2017, or I could uh, switch it to um, 2018 for that matter. I could also change it from regular Windows desktop uh, to, to a Windows Store app um, right here and let it open by clicking on those three dots. And of course, if I don't do that, then by simply opening up this one, it's gonna open up a 2018.1. Um, now, let me show you what happens. I hit, I go to my installs, and I'm actually going to uninstall the version 10 here as well. Hit uninstall. Now I come back over here to my projects, and here's a shader graph that is open in that version. And so, um, now it's just gonna to default to my preferred. But I come in here and tell it to open up in B13 instead and let it use the current build target. And when I do, I get the typical dialogue that we get saying, hey, you opened this in a previous version. Are you sure you, sure you want to do this? And of course I do because I explicitly told it to. And so the point is everything works as expected uh, using the Unity Hub. And so here we see the project has loaded using the target that I closed it down with last time, which is just regular Windows, uh, PC, and Linux. And I hit play, and the scene is going to run. Now this actual project, uh, you may be interested in this. This is using uh, Shader Graph, the new Shader Graph tool from Unity. And uh, you can get it here at github.com forward slash Unity Technologies forward slash Shader Graph underscore example library. And it has some, you know, neat scenes. Uh, the uh, this player scene is pretty cool, uh, where it actually shows uh, you have this animated uh, player. We hit play in here, 
and he'll be animated, but he has all these different um, shaders associated to him, and these are all created using shader graph, including a nice little ribbon there. And then the one over here, he's actually cut in half, so it's kind of neat. And so over at Learn Hololens, I was actually telling people about this, uh, some of the new features in 2018 in this uh, lab in particular. So we talk about all kinds of things over there. If you're interested in learning more about the Hololens, then jump over to learnhololens.com, sign up for the uh, wait list, and next time we open the doors, you'll be notified. Well, that's all I'm going to talk about uh, today. Unity Hub is pretty awesome, and um, you quickly saw how I was able to install a brand new version, uninstall a couple other versions, and change a project from an older version to a newer, newer version and launch it and everything it works as expected and I've been using this for a couple months now and I've enjoyed it. it's very stable um, at this point and uh, yeah 2018 is going to be a, it's going to be a good a good editor I believe so looking forward to it being uh, released and definitely take a look at the uh, that shader graph example library here at github if, uh, if you're interested in uh, working with shaders and uh, you want to be able to utilize a, a UI to do so. Well, I hope you have a fantastic week, and I'll see you in the next video.